Very unfortunate failed attempt. It really but doesn't look good. We're getting like very close to the time at which they should be flying and they're not flying uh, because it means that they probably just went back down and didn't actually fly. You gotta be kidding me. Flights are rained out. I mean, they would be taking off right now. And it's raining. Day number five. Give it up for day number five. Well, I'm leaving empty handed once again as a surprise to nobody. Howdy folks, it is currently 1.39 in the morning. I am driving to Organ Pipe Cactus to get Ada Mexicana. These are the largest ants, the queens, largest ants in the United States and I'm trying to get them, so let's get into it. Hopefully we have got good luck. Conditions seem not great, but we're trying anyway, so yeah. Well, the Ada are out and active as a surprise to nobody, but uh, here at our first spot does not look good for flights. It is so extremely dry and there, the, there's just no elates in the nest entrances. And even though it's about two hours before they would take off, you would at least be expecting to see some males with their heads down in the nest entrance and everything, just peeking for the weather. So looks like they are probably not going to fly at this spot. We're gonna go check a few more spots and uh, hopefully get lucky, but I'm definitely not getting my hopes up tonight. Still, it is uh, really nice to see these guys again. I love them so much. Well, we may not get Ada. We're going right now to hike over to a second spot. But so, so we've got this amazing patch nose snake. I've been wanting to see one of these for a long time. I mean, I saw a baby almost a year ago now. So seeing another live one is very exciting. But dude, these are diurnal snakes. And this guy was just curled up in this bush, literally a foot from where we parked the car. Like we just so happened to pull over right next to where this guy was sleeping, which is so cool. But we're going to go check on some more Ada, see if we can uh, make this trip worth it in more ways than just this guy. It's not uncommon for diurnal snakes uh, during the heat of summer to, you know, adopt more nocturnal tendencies. But uh, I've never seen one at 3 a.m. <laughs> Evidently, this has turned into a snake trip. Because that is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Just uh, chilling, coiled up. Yeah, uh, fun things walking through the desert at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm just not ready to give up yet. Well, here's the last colony we were going to check, and considering they would normally be flying in a half an hour, not really seeing a whole lot of elates. <laughs> so, I think tonight is a bust. We're still going to keep looking, but I'm not getting my hopes up. My hopes have been down, but now they're extra down. Very unfortunate failed attempt, but there will be more chances, and I had a good time anyway seeing snakes and whatnot, so guess nothing to do but try again later. Uh, last time it, it really didn't feel like it was happening. You know, it didn't feel like it was gonna happen. But tonight it feels like it's gonna happen. Like this, this is it. it. It could be it. If it's not it, I'm gonna be pretty surprised. Like this, this feels like the real deal. So now it's just get down there and execute. I know what I need to do to find the thing. Just gotta do it. So come with me, cause it's gonna be a doozy. Can you see that, folks? Them's be atta queens. It looks like it's happening. Wow, it's all queens here, too. There's like no males. That's pretty. Oh, no, there's a male. But most of them are queens. It's pretty cool. So, a uh, quick update, and I was hoping that this wouldn't be the case, but I suspected it could be. Uh, it looks like it may have gotten too much rain for the Ada to fly. 
the very first colony we checked had a lot of elates posted up, but every other colony we've seen since then has had barely any elate activity, and it really doesn't look good. We're getting like very close to the time at which they should be flying, and they're not flying, which means I might have to come back tomorrow morning again. Well, I thought it was looking extremely dire as uh, the colony that sent out like 20 elates yesterday has none out. And then there's another fungus dump over there that has nothing out. But this colony, oh, did they go back inside? They might've gone back inside because of my lights, but this colony did have some elates peaking. So all hope is not yet lost. Yeah, look at them. Oh, look at those queenies. Now I just have to hope that they actually do the thing. So quick update, all of the alates are gone from the nest entrance, which is awesome uh, because it means that they probably just went back down and didn't actually fly. I'm going to look around obviously since I'm already here going to look around for queens just to make sure that they didn't fly but looks like they didn't fly again i don't think these ada understand mark my words i will keep coming back every morning it takes to catch these ants they can keep not flying they can keep sitting in the nest entrance and not taking off and I will be back every single morning until they fly. Three hours here, three hours back until I get them. I do not care. Nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to stop me from getting these ants. That is all. Guess where I'm going again? I shouldn't even have to tell you, because you know what video you're watching, so let's just go. Get it over with. Okay, we're about an hour from takeoff time, and so far things are looking good. Lots of workers out. There are elates peaking. There's one down in there. So, not going to get my hopes up. There's even these guys that freaking get out of here get get <laughs> they uh there's another one over there they freaking camp the atta entrances and pick off the elates for free food so uh the fact that they're sitting by the atta nests is also a good sign to me so trying not to get my hopes up but i'm kind of getting my hopes up <laughs> yet another good sign there are elates out at the second colony. Now, not very many. There were a couple more, but I scared them off with the light. So I'm using this like tiny, crappy light to try and disturb them as little as possible. But I do see elates in the nest entrances, which is good because, well, obviously you want both of the colonies to fly so that they have mates. Yeah, uh, let's just hope. I've got an hour, basically an hour to kill before we find out if it's actually going to happen or not, so. Can you hear it? Can you see it, perhaps? It's raining. It's f***ing raining. You've got to be kidding me. Flights are rained out. I mean, they would be taking off right now, and it's raining. It got a little, I, th I mean, it didn't look like it was going to happen anyway. It got a little windy. They, they all went back down. One of the colonies over there was still kind of posted up, but not really, and now it's raining. Not very hard, but enough to where they're not going to go, which is awesome. Attempt four, fail. Well, I'm leaving empty-handed once again as a surprise to nobody, but at least this time I had a couple days off 
before this, so I am not as brutally exhausted as I was last time. Uh, it still sucks. I mean, I still pulled an all-nighter and got nothing for it, but, you know, put another 500, no, 300 miles in my car, which already has 183,000 miles on it. But hey, if this is what it takes, this is what I'll do. I don't know what else to say. Just uh, run it back and try again later. You know, it might not be Ada, but I guess I'm getting some leafcutter ants. <laughs> Acromix versicolor are flying. Um, so that's cool, I guess. Day number five, give it up for day number five. We're going again. It's happening. I'm literally shit. It's, it's happening. I cannot physically express my excitement. I'm on four hours of sleep, 200 milligrams of caffeine, and it's fucking happening. I mean, guys, seriously, look at this. Alates. All of this is alates. Like that, those are all freaking alates. This is ridiculous. So I apologize that this footage is going to be a little bit subpar. I don't want to use bright lights to disturb them before they take off. So the lighting isn't going to be bad, but like, look how dense that ball of elates is. I mean, look at this. This is everything I hoped for and more. <laughs> oh, so I'm not turning the light on because I don't want to disturb them. But they're going. I don't know if you can hear it. It's the buzz. <laughs> yeah, we're getting pelted. So this have not made it, right? My my heart is going at a million miles an hour right now. These are all elates, all the dots you see. Look at that. The floor is at a... You guys, every single light here is just swarming with Ada. Like all the border crossing lights, ev every light is just swarming with Ada. We haven't really seen any delates yet, but I can't particularly say I'm surprised. That is supposed to be the hardest part about out of flights is actually finding them mated. So obviously we're gonna stay diligent, keep looking. They gotta start showing up at some point because I know all these aren't flying just for fun. They're definitely trying to mate. So just gotta stay diligent and keep our eyes peeled for those wingless queenies. I got one. As you can tell, the sun is fully up and DLAs are coming in droves. I cannot physically express how excited I am. I am quite literally nauseous with excitement. <laughs> like, this is the, the best day ever, honestly. This is amazing. So this would be considered a DLA. She's shed enough wings that it's like, she's fertile. So is that one. <laughs> I literally cannot even put into words how happy I am. I cannot express. This has been... This has been the one thing that I've been looking forward to all year. I, I mean, this, this was my main target. This was... And even last year, because... I can't... I, I'm speechless. You can tell. I, I have no words for what just happened. And let me 
let me just show you. All right, let me show you why I'm speechless. Because I wasn't doing that much filming because, I mean, it was happening. I was trying to experience it for myself as much as I would love to share it with you all. And I hope that I did a decent enough job with that. But just, just look at this. And finally, after five all-nighters in eight days, 2,000 miles driven, and a very, very stressful last drive home with all of those queens, I did it. I caught Ada Mexicana 100% legally in the United States. This was the most amazing thing ever. And here's some footage of the queens now after I've caught them and at the time of editing this video they're doing pretty well at least about half of them I did have quite a lot of deaths more than I was expecting but still there's more than enough to ensure that I'll be getting a healthy colony that hopefully I will have for years and years to come I've missed keeping these ants so much and am so happy to finally finally have them again Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It took so much effort to make and obviously so much time and energy to get all this footage and, and to do this. And so I hope you all enjoyed watching it. I know it wasn't as intense and didn't show as many ants as some of my other videos. There was a lot of talking, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway because this was quite the doozy to, to make. So please share your support. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And... Hope to see you guys in the next video. Yeah.